Hi guys, it's Vanessa from Burning Love Candles, and today I'm going to do kind of a vlog of what I'm doing today. It is 7.30, and my son just left for school, my husband is at work, and I have a lot on my plate today. Owning a business is a constantly evolving thing. So over time, your business plan, your business idea, your goals chain. Today, my goal, I have to write down scent notes for a fragrance haul that I'm doing from Virginia Candle Company. Pull some scent notes out of my scent blends to see which ones I want to use on the label. Finish my coffee, put my chickens outside, and uh, I will update you guys later. Bye. This is the little setup for when it's like super duper cold. So they're heading outside right now. Hi guys. I love you. That's my little setup for doing my fragrance hauls. A Virginia Candle Supply does not have top, middle, bottom notes. It's just a description of what the fragrances are. And I am test burning the candle I made with a combination of Pro Blend 650 and Pro Blend 600. With this one has two Eco Two Wicks and Cozy Cabin from the Flaming Candle. This has been about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm going to try Zinc Core Wicks because the Eco Wicks work better with 100% soy wax. I love Pro Blend. I think it's great. The wicks that I ordered, I have ones for when I do a two wick candle and then wicks for when I do a one wick candle. I can show you how to make a candle to use for testing wicks, which is basically a wickless candle. You poke holes in it with whatever, a coffee stirrer, a skewer, so that you can put different wicks in it and test out the burn to see if those are the correct wicks. So test burning that. Yesterday, I tested out a candle that I am definitely going to sell. It's a scent blend of two oils that I got recently, and I actually just got a text message from FedEx, so I might be getting the oils from Flaming Candle today, but I don't think so, because I think they were in like Georgia or Kentucky or something. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So that's a pretty good result. That's almost three hours and it's almost to the edge. That is Parasoy. <sighs> okay, so that candle is um, Pro Blend 600 and Pro Blend 650 blended together in two. Look at my bangs. Wait, I'm gonna go like this. You wanna see something sexy? How's that? You like that? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, time out. Yes. Right? Okay. So let me explain. I bought these glasses. I gotta fix this. I have a five head and I have these like sleeping headphones that I wear all night. And so they, it plasters my bangs to my forehead and I'm gonna exercise, I haven't showered yet. So, you know, whatever, I'm a grease ball. But uh, I, when I was a floor nurse, I worked on my weekend 12 hour shifts. And at the end of one of my 12 hour shifts, I came home completely exhausted and thought I deserved a present. What in the f was I thinking? Look, I got a I got a real problem because the girl that posted a picture of herself on Instagram in these glasses was this adorable, like chunky, cute little girl with like skirt and tights and shoes. And she, like, I don't remember what color her hair was, but it wasn't regular hair. It was like pink or like whatever. Totally pulled off these glasses. And I was like, oh, I'm going to start making YouTube videos. This was like in August. I'm going to start making YouTube videos so I can pull off these glasses because I'm going to be a professional YouTuber. I look like a friggin' idiot, okay? I don't care how nice you want to be. My son can't look at me in the face when I wear these. My husband laughs at me. They're ridiculous. I am almost 46 years old. And regardless, there are some people that can pull this off. I'm not one of them. Okay guys, I'm going to heat up my wax and do a couple testers. I'll take you along with me on that. It'll take a little bit. We'll come back in a minute. 
kind of a wintry day out today. Oops. <laughs> I'm a friggin idiot. So I added my 0.6 of fragrance oil because this is a six ounce candle. And now I'm adding my up to six ounces with wax. And I thought I pushed record and I didn't. Cold in here, so it's there. Okay. We can pour it. This is re really hard with one hand. I need to get a new tripod. Watch me spill it everywhere. There we go. So I fill it up to the line, as you can see, the line that's six ounces. And I like to get some on the table while I'm at it. Oh God, I, can't, I cannot do this through this. Oh my. Anyways, oh my god, what a freaking disaster. It's Pro Blend 600 mixed with Pro Blend 650 with a Eco 10 wick in a 8 ounce tin, which is a 6 ounce candle. This wick looks crooked, but it's the camera. That was like the most disastrous candle making that I've ever done in my life. And you probably think I'm a complete inept buffoon but i cannot first of all i have an issue with depth reception you will notice when you watch my videos that my eyes do not look in the same direction at the same time i'm somewhat of a chameleon so i have no depth reception and trying to hold the camera and do something while looking through the camera has not proved to work out when pouring tea or or wax hi i'm sharing this because it put a smile on my face today I did a small business internship with or mentorship with Chad Gabriel, who runs Team Floppy Ears and is he's an entrepreneur. And before even before I did that, I was a big fan of his and I made him a an epoxy tumbler last summer. And I've been dealing with a bunch of like really stressful stuff today. And he posted this on Instagram and it just made my day. So I'm going to share. He's such a goof. Yeah, so that was the tumbler I made for him last summer, and he's a good shit and a hard worker, and I, I, you know, um, sometimes just life can get to you, and um, that made my day. I did end up doing another sample. I did the tester for Caribbean Escape, which you saw was a disaster. And then I poured one for Sweetgrass and Dandelions, and uh, that's not what it's called, but maybe. And um, I'm doing a second test burn on my combination of Oud Wood and Amber Oud, or Oud, again, I don't care how it's supposed to be said. And that's a winner. I have decided that I'm going to put sage and whatnot on the top of my candles. So I'm working on that, testing that out. And I will be back later. All right, this is the current state of my desk. And I will uh, be back in a minute. this time I did a good job yeah that's better till tomorrow when I try it's me again I'm gonna wrap this up I have to go do my spinning and make dinner and I thought my flaming candle oils were gonna come today but I got a message that we're having a snowstorm and so due to that they're delayed so they will come tomorrow but I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was kind of all over the place and uh, I've never done this before. And also I didn't get what I wanted to get accomplished today accomplished. I did not finish my labels. I did not, I wanna organize each scent. So let's say I have a beach scented candle. I wanna try to figure out which crystals and which, do I wanna put sage? Do I wanna put rose petals? Like what do I wanna put on my beach candle? What kind of crystals do I wanna put? I'm going to put sea salt on top. Like I'm trying to figure all that out. And 
I want to organize myself so that when I'm doing my strip labels versus my jar labels that I'm not sitting there going like, what did I write down for that? So I want to go candle by candle, what the name of it is, what the herb, what the mineral and what the crystals are that I'm going to use for that candle, what I'm going to call it and try to organize myself and then place an order for the oils that I need for the candles that I'm going to make and sell. So maybe that's a chore for tomorrow. I don't know. But anyways, all right, guys, if you like this, give me a like, think about subscribing. It was total nonsense, but whatever. I'll see you guys later. Bye.